My name is Zach and welcome to another Battery Monday. Today's topic will be fast charging. In today's day and age, everyone has a basic idea on what fast charging is, which is usually consistent of fast charging your cell phone. The general idea is correct, but believe it or not, there's a vague explanation when fast charging is actually a complex term that summarizes the basic principle and multiple layers of functionality to fast charging. So let's take this one step at a time. Before describing the principle of fast charging, let's introduce a few key data points. The basic components behind charging are amps, voltage, and wattage. Amperage, or current, is the amount of electricity flowing to the battery, known as the current. Voltage is the speed or strength of the current. Wattage is the amperage multiplied by the voltage. Compare charging to adding water into a tank. The cable is the water pipe, the current is the width of the pipe, and the voltage is the water pressure. And the wattage is the amount of water being displaced into the tank. To store water faster inside the tank, either increase the width of the pipe or increase the water pressure. Charging takes place in three stages, pre-charge mode, constant current, and constant voltage. In the first step, the pre-charge mode inserts a small voltage and amperage to ensure that the battery is reacting properly and the cells are working as they should. Once the battery has reached an acceptable internal temperature and voltage, the constant current mode will engage and the battery will enter the absorption stage and will charge the majority of its capacity during this phase. The battery is offered a constant amperage and, as the internal resistance starts building up, a higher voltage is introduced to ensure that the battery is being charged. And the last state of charging is the constant voltage stage, where the charger notices that the battery of the cell's voltages reach its maximum voltage, the charger will hold the voltage at the maximum voltage and will no longer adjust to ensure that the battery does not overcharge. The current will become smaller and smaller, and when it is less than 100 milliamps, it will judge that the battery is full and then cut off the charging. This is why you may notice that it only takes half an hour to recharge your device from 10% to 80%, although the charge from 80% to full will take just as long. Well, that's all for today. If you have any questions or battery-related things that you want to know, feel free to contact us at info at Until next time, my name is Zach, and thank you for stopping by.